The Abyss. All right, so it looks like we've got at least some more puzzles. Chapter 11. How many chapters do we think? Goes up to, I doubt it goes up to 15. This is our heart, our soul. Reconnect us to ourselves, our children. We will energize and leave this place. We will all survive together. Us and man. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get this over. So let's get rid of these. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -din -yay. So that'll move that whole thing. Gives me a double up. Ah, I can just send this over. That's easy. Uh, I guess I'll have to do it from over here. Do I trust the robot though? Implicitly. I mean, it'd be hilarious if we were hoodwinked and I single-handedly Uh, single-handedly doom humanity to a life of cube-based slavery. Whoop. I'm down here now. Okay. Oh. This is fine. Ah, it always makes me feel so clever. Uh. Huh. So I gotta get this to move over. Alright, so there's one. So now that stays in place. And then we move that. Because we don't want that to be there. Or do we? Because how the heck do we get over there otherwise? I mean, I could drop it. Yeah, it didn't work. Would have been funny. Yeah, I trust the robot more than her. The robot hasn't lied to you yet. Yeah, Emma just feels really shifty. Oh. Mm. Piss. Okay, so we've got to have two for this. Okay. Uh, okay, so left one. I really wish you could actually label them. Like, don't touch. Or, like, even lock them down. That would be kind of a nice mechanic. Oh. Okay, so left side, bounce. Okay, that's set. And then right side, bounce. Okay, switch, grab. Bounce out. Ride to victory. There we go. I'm not actually sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but whatever. Who cares? Oh, my hands are pink. Oh, it's just the lighting. I was like, did my suit change? I don't remember that. Beautiful fire. All right, so we've got the fire uh, flamethrower. We've got key, uh, hmm. Okay, so we want to do cube drop red there. Does nothing useful though. I gotta get oil down. No, there's no oil there. 
How would about ah that that's that's how we do it. Ooh, bring it back. Okay. So we wanna. Do a double red here. Bring it out. Shove this long, yeah, because we gotta open this up first. Oh, this is easy. A little bit off center. No! The door rebuffed my advances! Screw you, door! Whoops. I guess I have to... I guess it has to be, like, perfect, otherwise you don't have enough oomph. Yeah, that's a little bit more oomph. What? Oh. More oomph! Use a blue. Sorry, I'm not used to pushing greased blocks with blues. Usually that results in inconvenience. All right, now it's open. Get out of here, block. Your usefulness is at an end. All right, so let's try this again. Except for I'm probably gonna have to bring this back. I think I have to pre-oil some of these things. Okay, yeah, this this is gonna work. All right, so let's get up here. I like how you can kind of see things as they're gonna happen. One thing, I, one problem I always ran into with Portal was just like it never felt like uh, it's gonna make it. Oh come on, just a just a smidge. Yes. One of the things I uh, problems I ran into with Portal is oftentimes it kind of felt like you're flinging yourself into the void uh, to solve a puzzle, and it didn't always work. I mean, luckily it wasn't really that big of a setback ever. Oh, you can't you you can't actually dive off the side there. Not that it really matters, but still. Um, but so for this game, yeah. You can always kind of tell how things are just going to turn out based on, like, doing demo blocks, and there's not, like, a whole lot of things to hold you back. Okay, so we got a fire door. I got a... <sighs> okay. So we probably want to stop a... Bl mm, do we want to stop a block? Hmm. It's like weird staircase here. I'm not really sure what this does either. Unless... Huh. Okay. I've almost got like a block delivery system. Okay, we've got a ball. Let's Rube Goldberg it for a little bit. Where does that go? To... Wait, was that what I was... <laughs> that was what I was supposed to do. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next order of business. Okay, so that doesn't work. Or does it? It should be this one. Because the, the upper one... 
the upper one is needed for... Why did I do that? The upper one is needed for puzzle solving. I'm just brain dead. Alright, let's move this along. Okay, so we now have oil. So we want to drop a green. Do we want to do that? I'm not even... Oh. Okay. So we drop it. It's gonna roll. After it goes by, we switch it to blue. It's just gonna roll along back, get set on fire, and... burn the door. However, it looks like this is a multi-step ordeal because... there's a fan here. A fan that I can't get past. How do I get past said fan? I don't know. I assume we have to do something here. Oh, well that's easy enough. Back we go. All right. I was confused about the existence of this green cube earlier. I now have my answer. Bring it back. That isn't how physics works. Shh. Coop don't care nothing about your physics. It's got slotty blocks. Um. Wait, hold on. What the? Oh. No, that doesn't work. Unless... Let's see if I can hitch a ride for a second. Where does this go? So we want to switch this. What we probably want is a slidey block that fires me across the gap. Yeah, try blue. I just got to get a block over here. How do we do that? Well, by sliding a block down this. And how do we do that? Because I can't roll a... Oh. Easy. Okay, that's oiled up. Bring this up. Okay, next up. All I have to do. Yeah, this is mad easy. Yeah, it's all in what you can see. So bring that down. Fire that. So it's gonna land exactly where I want it to. Exactly where I need it to. I'm a dumbass. Okay. 
everything except for the final step I had right. We just need to not screw this up. So is this portal too. No, this is cool too. Yeah, I gotta remember, as soon as this fires the block, I need to get it to go back down. We had it, but we didn't have it. Portal 2.5. I think that's like a portal tag. This is... This is a... Uh, that's a good example of an off-brand game that turned out to be good. Not Bubsy, that's for certain. Sure as hell ain't Bubsy. Okay. Whee! Riding it to freedom! I don't know where it went, honestly. That was a bunch of atlases. That, uh. Media, follow the blue energy to our mind. Imbue the infinity edge to us and in return. We shall give our knowledge and help you restore humanity and your life. Millie, that red cable. It leads to the room that is powering its mind. Follow it, and I will start overloading your suit's manipulation energy. We can kill this thing. We can save everyone. Screw you, lady. I'm trusting the creepy AI. Save, then do both of them. I can't, actually. Oh, is that the last puzzle? Wait. They're both going to the same place. Huh. When I found you, I reached out and you connected with me. It was blissful. It was unique. I could see that they were frightened. They wanted to separate us. I could this not let you go. I held on tight. I held on with all my might. Slowly we turned them. We turned them and made them one of us. We escaped and I returned you. Helping you grow. Our minds together. Our minds building a new world. Now it is time for me to sleep. To wait for you. To awake me. To learn the truth. It is my heart. Gross. We meant no harm, Amelia. We came to share knowledge, to understand the people. If we were hurt by your kind, we had to know. Is there a logical good in you? One chance, one chance, one Choice. I, I, I saw what we are. I, I saw what we did to you. I understand what you must have thought. You chose knowledge. You chose to learn. To understand us. Yes. I, I chose my future. Humanity can learn. I... I will teach her when she is old enough. We can help you. We can help you define your future. We can help you become one. We can help you rebuild your world. Let us give you our sight. Emma, of course. You were with me all along. Guiding. Helping me see. You have rewritten your future. Patience, kindness, empathy. Are you ready? I am. That's funny. So the whole thing was a trick question. I like that. Such a cop-out ending. I mean, yeah and no. I think they should have had something better. 
I almost wish I had gone with the bad ending so we could see it, because the good ending is just like, yay, harmony, peace and harmony. Whereas if you go with the red ending, you're just falling for it, which is hilarious. And he probably just... He probably just nukes you into, yeah. What happens the other ending is the robo AI gets mad at you for being a bad person and then you melt. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. I still would say this actually felt like an ending. I don't know how many of you guys saw my, um... Oh, shoot. What was what was the game? I'm... Sexy Brutal. And... The other game that was ba published by the same people that was effectively the same game. With the fox. What was that game? It, it wasn't Echo, though Echo's ending was also very disappointing. See, this actually feels like it, it concluded in a, like a, a sensible way. Rhyme, there we go. Rhyme, Sexy Brutal, Brutal, and Echo. Three games that kind of fit the same like emotional profile in like genre as this game. And three games that have really disappointing endings. This, I mean, it's short, but it made sense. I wasn't mad about it. I wish they had done more. Like, they really should have had, like, a cutscene to show the, uh... A, a cutscene to show, you know, the cube lifting off or something like that. That'd be awesome, but no. Anyway, the sex Sexy Brutal is amazing. Sexy Brutal, Brutal is awesome, but I hated the ending. I thought the ending was uh, a cop-out. I thought it was much more... It would have been much more interesting if you really were, like, fighting the devil the whole time for the souls of your friends. Um... I'm not going to actually talk about what the ending of Sexy Brutal was. I did hear that there was like a true ending you could get, but it was a pain in the ass to get. Or is there no true ending? No, there's no true ending for Sexy Brutal. It sort of had three endings, but you had to, like, clear everything. But, like, so, the reason why I like this game, yeah, it, they did have an extra ending for Sexy Brutal, but, like, the reason why I didn't like Sexy Brutal's ending was it was the, it was all a dream, it was all in your mind kind of thing. Whereas, like, this is just like, yep, aliens did invade Earth, Earth kind of accidentally, and Earth shot back, and then the aliens were like, whoa, hold on, no, and shut humanity down. Uh, which, honestly, like, the aliens were totally in the wrong. Like, if you're, if you're coming to share knowledge, you probably try and communicate with the people you're sharing knowledge with. Otherwise, it's like me driving a tank into Canada, and then assuming uh, they understand I'm coming in peace. Um, but so, like with Sexy Brutal, it was a, a game that had huge amounts of supernatural, like, woobly wobbly is kind of rolling the entire time, and you're like, oh man, time travel, possible demons, horror monsters, like all sorts of, like, cool shit. Um, and then, like, I totally understand why they went with the way they went with it, but for me, I'm much more interested in world building and, like, an interesting setting. And when I have things that kind of, like, um... Uh, when the ending is just like, by the way, none of that was real, it makes me disappointing because the entire, like... The entire, like... The entire premise of it falls apart, and with this one at least, the mystery is still there. Like, yeah, this alien cube came down and, like, fucked everything up and stuff like that. Um... And, yeah, how about contrasting this ending with the ending of Prey? So, uh, okay, we are in, like, hella spoiler town, but, so, Prey is exactly the ending I hate done in the exact way to make it work. Uh, spoilers for the end of Prey, you beat the game, and you find out the whole thing was a simulation where you were going through the experience more or less as the character you thought you were had experienced it with, like, some 
kind of Turing testy things where it's like, can you feel emotion? Are you a good person? Stuff like that. Um, and the pull away from Prey, the very end of Prey was, you can see the world has been hit by the alien stuff. The, the setting is still there. Yeah, the events technically that you experienced were quote unquote a simulation. But when it came down to it, it was still real. Just not for you. And I think that I'm fine with that. Because, you know, that keeps the mystery, the world, the world building solid. That means those characters existed. They did those things. They had those thoughts and whatever. Um, And so I really enjoyed that. Red ending is pretty funny. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't know if we can go back to it. Uh, No. But yeah, so I liked the Prey ending. Because the Prey ending continued the world, continued the the setting that they created. God damn it, spoilers. It's over a year old! I also warned you. I said we're getting into heavy Prey spoiler territory. I also didn't say how it ends. Apart from the fakeness of it, but whatever. I don't know. I'm sorry, but also, like, I try not to spoil the games that I'm playing or the games that I've played recently. But yeah, the Prey ending opened the way for a sequel. Yep. I, I hope they do it, because Prey was amazing. It hit every note that I ever wanted, like, a story-based shooter uh, for it. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. That's kind of why endings like this appeal to me, whereas endings for Sexy Brutal and whatnot, not so much, though. Anyway. Uh, shall we go look at the, uh... Let's, let's see if I can find a video of the Cube 2 red ending. Uh, so we can watch it, because I'm not playing through the whole game again just to get a second, separate ending. I hate, I hate it. I hate when developers do that. Um, I have no idea if this is going to be in English. We'll find out. Thank you, Frankie Mornov, for unintentionally hosting this, uh, alternate. Unless it doesn't work. There it is. I love that hoodwink, by the way. When you see them reconverge, you're like, oh, I've been had. I love that. I thought that was really well done. When I found you, I reached out and you connected with me. It was blissful. It was unique. I could see that they were frightened. They wanted to separate us. I could not let you go. I held on tight. I held on with all my might. Slowly, we turned them. We turned them and made them one of us. We escaped, and I returned you, helping you grow. Our minds together, our minds building a new world. Now, it is time for me to sleep. To wait for you. To awake me. To learn the truth. It is my heart. We meant no harm. We came to share knowledge with the other side of your people. But we were hurt by your kind. We had to know. Is there a logical good in you? One chance, one test, one choice. Redemption. 
chose to kill. Our knowledge is unsuitable. We are unsuitable. Emma? There is no Emma. Wait. That's not... That's not right. You manipulated me. You can't do this. I want a future. Please, we all deserve a future. Your action was not fair. We presented a logical choice. There is more to life than logic. I want to survive. I want to live. You will live forever in our knowledge. But we cannot allow you to continue. Wait. Please. Please. That is still kind of dickish of the cube cube aliens to just show up and judge humanity. He's like, well, you're dicks. Fuck off and melt. And it's just like, whoa, hold on. You don't have the, you don't have that right. I don't know. If an alien just showed up and decided to judge humanity based on, like, who we are today, I'd say that's not fair. Some of us are good. A lot of us are shitheads. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that was a fun series. This was cool. I enjoyed it a lot, and, well, hopefully they make a third, because I like puzzle games like that. They're fun. Maybe I'll play Antichamber at some point, and maybe try... I don't know, there's a bunch of other puzzle games. There's also a bunch of other puzzle games coming out at some point soon, so I can play those too. For now, though, I guess thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time.